People in Louisiana may soon be able to buy a new dairy product that has a growing following nationwide. Advocates say raw, unpasteurized milk has a range of medical benefits and could provide new revenue for small dairies. But health officials warn the product carries a host of potential risks. We dug into both sides of the issue. We've been just super blessed with healthy animals, and I'm so thankful that I was able to have mentors that taught me, you know, how to use herbs to help the goats. Amanda Hannigan enjoys a simple lifestyle, not just for the peace and quiet, but for the health benefits she gets. She's been managing her own farm for four years and says one of the best additions is her herd of goats. I have my first three goats that give me half a gallon each, and then the last two give me that last half gallon. Hannigan uses the raw milk from her goats to feed her livestock and her family. She's milking by hand here, but she normally uses a machine that sanitizes and pumps the milk for her. But this milk isn't pasteurized or heated to kill bacteria like E. coli or salmonella. She filters and stores everything herself. Hannigan is part of a raw milk movement growing in Louisiana and nationwide. They believe the government shouldn't regulate access to unpasteurized milk. There's people that want those healthy options. And if we regulate it and do it correctly and do it properly, we can, we can have a grade A or better of unpasteurized raw milk for consumers to buy. We like to ignore the reality that pasteurizing milk also kills a variety of good bacteria. Why not let people choose that they want to drink raw milk or pasteurized milk, do you know what I mean? These testimonies are from committee hearings on House Bill 467. The bill's original text authorized the sale of raw milk for human consumption. It was a heavily debated topic on both sides of the aisle. When you eat foods with healthy beneficial microbes in them, you build up your gut system to be more resistant so that when you do um, get exposed to low levels of pathogens, um, you just have the innate ability to um, to prevent infection. Those opposed to the legalization of raw milk say that it harbors infectious bacteria, ones that will lead to an increase in hospitalizations. Mike Strain, the Agriculture and Forestry Commissioner, argued that potential risks could go beyond the individual drinking the milk. It's about exposure. It's about putting this in a commerce. You live on a farm, you want to drink raw milk, that's fine. When you put these products into commerce, then you're outside of the silo and all these diseases we've talked about. And they can be pretty nasty. The CDC lists raw milk as a public health concern. From 1998 to 2018, the CDC reported 202 outbreaks associated with drinking it. The outbreaks caused more than 2,000 illnesses and 228 hospitalizations. It's particularly high risk for people at extremes of age, so really young children, elderly people, pregnant women are high risk, anyone that's immunocompromised, so received an organ transplant or getting some sort of cancer treatment. For them, it can, the most common symptom is bloody diarrhea, but that can have very serious downstream consequences, things like Guillain-Barre syndrome and hemolytic uremic syndrome. In very rare cases for very immunosuppressed people, it can cause death, but that is not common. But Hannigan doesn't agree with these studies. In addition to owning her own farm, she is also the chapter president for the Weston A. Price Foundation, an advocacy group that focuses on access to more organic foods. She cites a study that says that pasteurization processes eliminate helpful bacteria that our bodies need. It's a super health food. I really believe that. Um, the vitamin availability of it is far superior to pasteurized milk. Louisiana is one of 36 states that prohibits the sale of raw milk, but Hannigan says these regulations from state officials are an overreaction. I believe the studies he's looking at are flawed. But the state's Department of Health doesn't agree with this. When you try to study the relative nutritional difference between raw milk and pasteurized milk, we haven't been able to find substantial difference because pasteurization ultimately doesn't change the fundamental nature of milk. The bill was ultimately tweaked to eliminate the legalization of human consumption because of associated costs that the state would have to take on. We have a very limited staff that does dairy inspection of pasteurized milk. So we have three people at the Office of Public Health. 
that does all those inspections. So to do the same level of inspections for a product that has higher rates of contamination, like raw milk would take more staff. So the fiscal calculation is based on our current dairy program. If the bill is signed into law, raw milk can only be sold as food for animals. Products will be required to have a label warning against human consumption. But some lawmakers still believe the measure doesn't go far enough to protect people who do plan to consume raw milk from potential health risks.